Healthcare can be expensive, but this family has been carrying an enormous burden. So far, they've paid out more than $100,000 from their own pockets because a loved one's life is at stake. Tim Walker's body is shutting down. I'm sitting here waiting for my, my pot of luck to come up. And luck, so far, has been in short supply. But you just have to do what you have to do. Because if you throw in the towel, then, then you give up. You've, you've lost the fight. Since their wedding 18 months ago, Emma has watched her husband's health seriously decline. I think just shock at that time and a bit of disbelief that that, that could be happening to us because we were just you know, a normal young couple getting started. The big shock was how it all began. I slept like this one night and the ribs cut off the veins in my arm. And um, I was 19. I, 19 year olds don't get blood clots. Doctors discovered a blood clot had formed from his unusual sleeping position and later spread throughout his lungs. The damage is permanent and life-threatening. Before I knew it, two weeks later, I, I'm sitting in the heart-lung transplant clinic going, what just happened? The condition is called pulmonary hypertension. Tim is now waiting for a heart and double lung transplant. And in recent days, his kidney has stopped functioning, requiring dialysis. If we hadn't had equity in our home to remortgage to get access to different things that weren't um, approved in Australia, he would not be here. Hi. Hello. How are you going? All right, all right. Mum Annie and stepfather Richard, an emergency physician, have remortgaged their home over and over to continue financing Tim's life-saving drugs. Yes, he's, yes. he's still got yeah. a little sparkle in his eye, you know, and that when I see that I walk out and fight again. It, we just couldn't do it without them. We couldn't have. So far, the family has spent more than $100,000 on medication. There's no subsidy for the frequent trips from Newcastle to Sydney, and over the past few years, the hospital car park alone has set them back more than $3,000. Hello. Oh. I'm just while all of Emma's pay now goes towards Tim's hospital costs, other family members chip in and pay the couple's mortgage. I don't think I ever really imagined that um, you could be in a situation where you had a family member that, that was dying and you couldn't, um, the, the medications weren't accessible um, from a financial point of view. I think that I never really thought that that, that happened. It's because most of the life-saving drugs Tim needs are not registered on the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme. Senator Bill Heffernan has taken up the case, lobbying drug companies to provide the drugs for free or reduce the cost. This needs to be uh, very sympathetically looked at, but at the end of the day, um, there's only, you know, the government can only do so much. Um, it's a very difficult problem. Just people who would be alive today if, what's available, if what had been made available right now had been available when I first got sick. It's a no-brainer, you know, you, no matter how slim the chance. For me, I'll always fight to have the opportunity to, um, to keep on living, but to be with my family, to with my wife. Well, because he slept strangely one night. It's incredible how fragile we really are, isn't it? Helen Kapalos there. Tim's greatest hope, of course, is for a transplant, and you'll find information about the Australian Organ Donor Registry at our website. Well, coming up next.